If I'm trying to teach you guys how to rep up fast, wouldn't it be smart to get a top rep? Well, that's exactly what I did. I'm gonna go through the best methods to rep up fast for all builds in NBA 2K21. If you need your badges grinded or are looking to buy or sell an account, hit up GoPlug. The link will be in the description. Let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? It's the Go White Boy of 2K, it is Young Dirk. So it is no secret that lobs is how you rep up. But if you just try to do pick and roll lobs all day, you're probably gonna lose most of your games or you're just, you know, not gonna, the games are gonna take way too long. So I'm gonna show you how to properly rep up the fastest on what Nate does. This is what all the top reps are doing. Nate is about to hit E1. Every top rep is doing this as we speak. So listen to what I have to say. My goal is to help you out, okay? Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, I'm talking on a black screen because this is important. I know most of you are not going to watch every scenario and method in this video. Then are gonna come back and complain and say, Dirk, your method sucks. Please watch. Learn every type of scenario to rep up the fastest. And don't complain because it'll work so you won't have to complain. Thank you. Okay, so step number one is knowing how the rep system even works. I bet you half of the people watching this don't even know this. It's by your my points. So the top bar at the end of your games, that is what affects your rep to go up the fastest possible. The goal is to get as much my points. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. It's just my points. Okay, so if you're the one catching the lobs, these are the badges you need to have. Obviously, if you don't have 26 Hall of Fame, try to mimic these badges as best as you can. And then if you are the one throwing the lobs, same thing, mimic these as best as you possibly can. All right, so look, here are Nate's screenshots with him playing me. Now we're gonna do centers and guards. How to do this on all builds, centers and guards. So look at Nate. Notice how sometimes for some reason, he was capped on his alley-oop dunks. We found five to be the magic number. We got five more than four and six. For some reason, 2K will cap you out for the amount of alley-oops you can take. And if you're a guard, the most alley-oops you can throw is eight. So it's four, five, or six for a center and eight for a guard. Also, next part game you play, look how much rep you get. You get like four to 7K if you play good and you win. We're getting 10 to 12K plus per part game. Method number one is the easiest, fastest, and most effective. Remember, you want to end these games as fast as possible to rep up as fast as possible. So, you're going to come up when your sender is inbounding the ball. Try to get his man stuck, or at least slow him down and throw him the lob. Lobs this year are way too overpowered. They actually have to be nerfed. And you can literally throw it every time. Just throw it every single time. If you're playing sweats, and the game is close, just pass fake and shoot the three. I already know what you guys are thinking. Dirk, what if your center is not inbounding the ball? Don't worry. You're pretty much do. Let me say this, let me say this. Lobs need to be nerfed. Michael Wangeth, if you're watching this, you have to nerf lobs, please. Pretty much just have him give you the ball, run to the paint and throw it. You're gonna get it. I mean, nine out of 10 times, you're gonna get it. It's not that hard. Just look for the Look for the right angle. The angles are key. Watch this video and just be patient. Patient is key. Patience is key, excuse me. Wait for the center to come towards you and then just throw the lob. Like it's not rocket science here, fellers. See, look at it again, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Method three is patience and positioning. See how he is behind him there? If he is on the inner block, if he is inside of him, and he is not stuck, throw the lob. You're gonna get it every time. Another thing that has to be nerfed. The guard is right there. The center is right there. It means nothing. That's the inside position. If nothing else is there, just drill around the court, be patient, wait for your big man to get that inside position. Side note, once you realize it's getting hard to get these games because you're just a higher rep than everyone else, go in 3v3 Pro-Am. It's much quicker. You can't run. It's just matchmaking. All the top reps 
now are in 3v3 pro-am it's the same method though nate just did this for the video same method same tactics everything you do on twos you can do in the 3v3 pro-am so we got what to do after you throw and catch those lobs you want to do flashy assists to a fade or to a shot that is literally it so once you get capped on those lobs flashy assists to a fade or a jump shot easy all right you guys so this right here even works you know just if you're trying to win games this i find just hilarious and they're super super quick anytime your center gets a rebound or you get one have your center stay inside just how we talked about and just throw the oop he gets the rebound he gets inside and i throw him the oop it's quick too it's an easy two points i do this in literally you know all every chance i have because it's just a quick easy bucket pretty much every time is impossible to stop now remember the goal of this the goal of repping up fast is time how fast you can get as much my points as possible which is why i really recommend doing this in 3v3 private pro-am if you're not i mean 3v3 pro-am if you're not getting any games in the park time is important and that's just the easiest quickest two points you can possibly get all right so my favorite and the cheesiest method is if you are playing a guard if you're guarding two guards two guards your big man can literally just work around over and over again to get inside position off of the inbound you don't even have to move look at what he's doing exactly he's trying to get behind look at it look at it cutie patooties getting behind as soon as he is free i'm throwing the lob this is the fastest and quickest rep method when you're playing guards like you can literally do this for all 22 points and there is nothing they can do and that just shows you how broke this game is so let me just recap and listen to me cutie patooties Make sure you do this in 3v3 pro -M if you're not getting games. Follow all of the methods, all the scenarios. Now, if you're playing comp, obviously, if they are stopping it, even though lobs are very hard to stop, don't force them every play. You'll still get your lobs in, but shoot your fades, you know, mix it up. Because you don't want to lose. You do not want to lose. And don't run from competition. Because I know a lot of you watching this video run from competition. The better your opponent, the more rep you will get. You can look at your screenshots. I mean, hit triangle or Y after your game is over. And you will see that there is opponent strength and grade. Obviously, opponent strength, grade, and then do what I said. Subscribe! Bye. <laughs>